Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. A beautiful song that registers well to many that have went through pain and not seen the game is What's Playing in My Background. This is Betty Wright's um, music. I have no claim to it. It is just an inspirational uh, word to give to those who have been through situations and not have, and they haven't seen a return on anything. Well, you got to prepare for it. Now listen to a little bit of the lyrics. This is wisdom. A lot of young ladies and young men have been led astray by the world. They didn't know that they had to give something to get something. So we have so many people in the world in relationships believing that they're entitled to have what they want. If they don't get it, they move to another person. Okay. Especially when you know you have to think doing the things you should do. Think about it. What is the man trying to get? Sometimes flowers mean maybe we should just be friends. Can we get my trip? Hang if you can hang. No rain, no gang. Okay, so I think that we have an understanding here. So I'm going to turn Betty off. And I'm going to talk to the ladies and the men, those that don't understand why they went through relationships or hurt and pain and they did not gain out of it. Sometimes it is because no one taught us what we were to gain out of it. She said, no pain, no gain. Sometimes the gain is your story that you need to write as you're going through and be able to give it to others. Now, in this here instance, if I don't write the story or tell the story, I might continue to circle back in the story because it could be my life line that has brought me here to give others the understanding of the experience of pain. And that's where I gain. So in my pain, I could be someone that is speaking out to masses of people that don't understand why they're going through pain, not just in marriages or relationships, in relationships with business, in relationships with friendships. They can't seem to get it together and they blame others. Well, sometimes you gotta go through something to learn the lesson, right? Um, if you've been in a relationship and there's been a divorce, sometimes we had to go through it to understand what divorce was all about. Some people have registered bitterness and anger. They've registered not in their psyche that they're not gonna be involved with anybody else. So they didn't gain. They registered bitterness to the point where deception came in and they didn't see their worth through the pain. You see, in every aspect of pain, there has to be the other side. That's like exodus and going through the pain of coming out of slavery. 
There has to be a Jordan to experience, but it's not going to be experienced if the people don't see that there is an open door that's going to come after the lesson. So many people live their, their lives working. What are you working on? If you're not working on yourself first, then you will not understand the magnitude of a project at work or the relationship it takes to build at work or the relationship that it takes for you to build with something or someone else. The relationship between you and your children. Because working is one thing, but self reflection is another and many of us have been deceived to think well i'm doing everything that i can maybe everything that you can and what you think you are supposed to do is not the answer to the problem it's not the solution you see our minds are like satan to begin with we think all the time that we're doing what's right if you're a wife that stays at home or a husband that stays at home, you know, you got a husband or a wife that's infidelity uh, involved in that. You think because you're staying at home that you have the book and the pattern on what's good in life. Men and women have exotic natures. And some men and women, you just can't satisfy them, you know, fully. Let's just get to that. But in the end result, when I understand that it's not personal, sometimes my wholeness is going through the experience and getting out of it what I'm supposed to. And the gain comes when I realize that I'm, I'm, I'm in this and I'm out of it or I'm done with it and I am still here. It is not me um, standing or, you know, continuously thinking about what they did to me. It's me assessing the situation and finding my place in it. What did I learn from this? What did I get from it? Many will, you know, quickly say, I didn't get anything. They did this, they did that, but they did it because they could, right? They did it because we allowed it, right? So what is the answer today for those that have been going through pain? Did I deceive myself in a relationship? Have I self-sabotaged by being around or with people that really was not for me? Didn't I see this before it started? A lot of times men will tell us who they are and what they are and what they want. But we read into what we want out of the situation. And we also believe that we can change them. I feel sorry for a woman that believes that they can change a man when he has told you what he wanted. If it wasn't marriage and you were the side chick and he told you that, he showed you that, the problem is you. Not wanting to accept that that's what he wanted or that you did not accept that there's more for you out there. If you were the side dude, the same goes for you. Deception is a mindset that says, I can do whatever I want to and have it. But then when you're in the pain, how is deception working for you then? Because deception is just that. It lies to you and tells you you can do whatever in the hell you want to. But guess what? In hell is the part that we got to look at. Because deception is a satanic mindset. So you ain't getting out of nothing until you overcome a deceptive mindset and heart. Now, I'm not scolding anybody. I'm just telling you, in order to get something, you got to go through something. And if you took part in hurting somebody, you're going to get something. There is no pain without gain. Whatever you gave, you're going to receive it back. So when we look at pain again, let me just read something about respect. If I don't have boundaries for myself as a woman or a man, I am disrespecting myself. And a lot of things are a little different for women than they are for men, but I want to include the men because I'm not biased and I know that um, 
they went through pain and did not receive a gain. And the gain is there, but it's how we look at things. If I don't look at the big picture and I only look at the personification of how it's impacting me, then I can't see anything but the pain. But if I could just get my mind on what do what am I supposed to get out of this, then it changes the dynamics from self. Because when you're in relationship in this world, you are learning something about yourself. Even though you, you, you maybe never, no one has ever told you that. You're learning something. The problem is, is that most people think they know everything. They've already experienced. They got the patent. Then we're in a society that says, you're an individual. You can live your life the way you want to. There is, you know, no reason that you have to have any morals anymore. Morals kept us in a guideline that actually kept us from hurting as severely as we are right now. So um, here is a quote, and it says, respect yourself and others will respect you. Now, what is respect to you? That's what you got to find out, because we all grew up in different households. And we've seen respect from a different perception. Some people believe that their bodies are to be used as tools. They don't have a register for their heart. They believe because they're beautiful that they can do and have whatever they want to. Well, you have no boundary because you have allowed your body to be the factor of what attracts rather than your heart. Beauty. It's only skin deep. So, you know, beauty in, in a man or a woman, I mean, we can look at narcissists. Narcissists went to the water every day, and he was like, you know, the wicked witch that tried to take, um, that had the mirror in um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Always looking and doting on herself. Who's the fairest of them all? And so narcissists was the same. All he did was look at himself and, and the beauty that he had, much like Satan. The thing about narcissists or the wicked witch with the mirror is that one day the mirror said to um, the wicked witch, Snow White is the fairest. She lost her composure. But why did she lose it? Because she had no other thought process other than herself, just like narcissists. Narcissists will lose their self-composure when, when they meet the right person. Because it's always a flip. Whatever you do to someone disrespectful, disrespect is going to come to you. If you do it, accept your due. Why? Because you are no different than anybody else. We are all exceptional beings. If you hurt someone, you will be hurt. That's the dynamics of the universe. It's not that I'm wishing on this on anybody. That's how life goes. I believe that if we could teach people more about morals and get us back on track with that, we'll be better people. Because if you're better, you'll do better, right? So here's another one on respect. Respect for ourselves guides our, mor our morals. Respect for others guides our manners. Let me see if I can find the person that actually wrote this, because I like to, you know, give their name. The, the, the point of the matter is, is that whatever you ain't giving, whatever you ain't working, do not believe that you're going to receive it back. And don't be mad at nobody because you ain't received it back. If you didn't give it, you ain't planted no seeds to receive it. And so I don't see, it says wisdom quote, okay? So your boundary for yourself have nothing to do with your relationships. It's teaching you how to be a better person. Do you set boundaries on how you talk to others? Do you set boundaries on your relationship? When you got into a relationship, did you and that person talk about what you wanted to 
benefit out of it? Did you have a mutual ground that you stood on in it? Because that's how you further relationships. If you're just going into a relationship and it's all about sex, then that's what the end result of it is. Sometimes men, no, let me just retract. Men can go out and get sex from anybody. I had a woman that told me that, you know, how the experience was with, you know, someone, and it's like, that's all it was. What else did you get out of it? Because, see, I'm not looking for someone to just get sex out of me. I'm looking for the benefits. I'm looking for uh, everything, the package. What does that mean? I ain't shortchanging myself. I'm in it for all, what I was taught. You know, I'm a biblical kind of standing woman. I'm a Betty Wright kind of standing woman. No pain, no gain. I understand that I'm learning something and I, I didn't come here uh, understanding or remembering everything that God gave me, but every circumstance that brings pain, I cleave to God and I understand better that there's something an individual in a situation has taught me. The struggle is hard, but at the end of the day, when you're ready to quit struggling or you you want to end the struggle, then the struggle ends with the gain that you receive from the struggle. But if you want to keep struggling, then you keep fighting with the situation. For instance, if you can't accept somebody for who they are, that's a struggle because it's unconditional love in what we're looking for in this world. And most people are looking for conditions. You see, you can do whatever you want to do, but respect is my thing. And if you got to get upset about respect, then don't expect it from me, right? That's how it goes because the world goes around. You know, if you did something to someone, then you expect your higher do the work that you put in, you expect it back. Because that's how life is. No pain, no gain. So whatever you plant, whatever you do, whatever you say, expect that you have got to work with what you get back because you are the sower out in the field. I did two videos yesterday. I still have another one to add on the sower. Everything is about what we give. If we learn how to give more love and just stay there in that place, we will change our own lives. We don't have to worry about somebody, you know, uh, doing something to help us to do anything. I mean, take it for what it's worth because I've been through some stuff, but I said I've been through. I made it over. People that wish something other did not see what they wished. They see their own pain and sorrow because they don't understand the magnitude of my mindset. I don't give a damn what you wish. It's what God said for me. That's what I stand on. And I would encourage every man and woman that is out there not to fight with anybody, but to stand on a conviction what you believe in yourself because as you go through pain you will always remember that there is gain there's a season to cry but there's a season to be happy there's no joy without sadness everything has its season everything those people that wish bad on you Seasons have to change. Those people that gossip and talked about you, those seasons have to change. And guess what? It's up to you, me, and everybody else to exalt the confidence and courage when we're going through seasons that are teaching us how to rise up. So you can write me about whatever pain you've been going through and understand that there is gain for you because you didn't sow 
in pain for no reason. You just need someone to tell you how to overcome the pain and get into the season of gain. And that's why I put Betty on there. She said, in order to get something, you got to go through something because life is here teaching us all something. So no one has a maximum stand on the outcome. The outcome is up to us and how we deal with things and the people, how we deal with ourselves foremost. Because if I am in a defeated mode in my mind, then so it is. But if I can encourage myself in the Lord, then so it is. You've been through abuse. You've been through violence, trauma. We got personal development classes for you. But I want to speak to the abuse and domestic violence any kind of emotional abuse, any kind of narcissistic abuse. I want to speak to it. And I want it to know that it must release you today. Because as you connect with me, that's what's going to happen. Cycles are being broken. Because people are waking up to what they've sold into. You didn't lose nothing. Some things were on hold because you and I had to get an understanding. Now, for those who did not learn, then they'll be on hold until they learn. Now, I wouldn't want to be on hold because every time I find myself on hold, I felt like I was in hell. So we're coming out. We're ascending. And we're coming into a new mindset which is the reaping ground for beautiful blessings amen so you can email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com questions minimum if you have uh questions and you want answers that um will change your life um i can put a price on it the classes and sessions that i give are um the sessions start at 85 dollars. that's a one-time fee if you sign up monthly, then you get it for 55, and that monthly is every week. Weekly, $55. Every two weeks, $65. This is for personal development in these areas where people are struggling with the pain. You just got to be pulled out of the timeline of pain and pulled into uh, the season of gain. How do you do that? When you meet with me and any of the people that I work with, it's going to be up to you to make a decision that you're not going to focus on that anymore. You're going to change your mind and step over into a new season. Why? Because it's critical. Or you stay in the place of feeling something that's actually an illusion. So, again, email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com for sessions. or if you want a question answer, I'm going to say $5, all right? All right, God bless you. Have a great day. Thanks for listening. And subscribe um, and share.